Hey guys, uh, Van here from rcnightmare.com. Uh, today I'm going to show you how to uh, prep an ESC uh, uh, for an install with a motor. Um, the set we have is a uh, Team Associated SXX stock spec uh, ESC here. This is a brushless setup. Uh, same type of deal even if you're dealing with brush. Uh, so what I've done is I've gone ahead and tinned three of these cables already. Um, but I'm going to go through the same process with the remaining two here. Um, the ESC itself comes with the wires bare. So in, in order to uh, install these to our um, connectors and motor, we're going to need to tin it. I'm also going to go over the um, solder tabs on the motor here too and just apply a bit more solder to it. So all right let's go ahead. So you can see I have this um, wire kind of rigged up here. <clears throat> Normally I'd put it in a vise but no vise here. So a pair of pliers, duct tape works well. Um, I have my soldering iron using the Hackle temperature control soldering station here. Um, you can see it's kind of running a little awkward. I have the cable running from the left to the right. Normally you'd want the cables out of the way. This is because we don't have uh, enough, a long enough extension cord, so we have to, anyway. So, okay, let's go ahead and get started here. So with the iron uh, at temperature, just clean the tip, apply some solder. Um, what I'm doing is tinning the cable. This just uh, prepares it for the soldering process. Uh, I just like to tin it because it allows me to make sure that the individual surface has the solder applied correctly before um, mating the two pieces together. So let me just do this again. Apply some solder. What I'm using is some 6040 um, solder from Radio Shack. No biggie. I just like to apply, the way I like to tin is I like to apply heat on one side um, and then solder on the other side. Uh, this is a fairly heavy gauge wire, so I'm probably going to need to melt a bit more solder on there. And you guys see this fumes coming up, right? It's uh, quite toxic, so try not to breathe that in. So I'm keeping this on a lot longer than I normally would, just because um, the cable is so thick, it takes that much longer to heat up. I'd rather do this, uh, have the, the iron on the cable for longer now versus later when uh, we're going to attach this to the motor or this to the battery connector because there you run the risk of melting stuff whereas this is just the cable. It's got long enough run here that it's not going to be melting anything. But still, I don't like to leave the heat on for too long. So what I'm going to do now is switch this out for the um, other lead. So, duct tape saves the day. Same deal. I like to start with a clean tip, apply a little bit of solder, and then just the same thing I did there. I'm gonna this fumes keeps coming to me, so you, you probably hear me blowing it away there. So just like so. Um, just a general note on soldering or tinning is uh, because this is so thick, I've had to, like I say, hold it much more, much longer than uh, I normally would like. But I'm holding it there long enough to allow all the solder to flow through. So when you see, um, if you see, I apply heat on this side. As soon as I see solder flowing on the opposite side, I know that the, the whole cable is heated thoroughly. So then I can start removing the heat and the um, solder because uh, uh, I don't need any more. 
So there you have it, all the ends are soldered, or I mean tinned, to help us with the soldering. Now I'm going to turn to the motor.